Hello students, welcome back. In this video, I am going to share with you the detailed summary of the chapter, the Browning version from your textbook in English class 11th, Hornbill. This is a very interesting story. Kindly watch this video till the end. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe. If you have already done it, thank you so much. This is an excerpt from Terence Rattigan's play, The Browning Version. The scene is set in a school. Taplo, a boy of 16, has come in to do extra work for his master, Mr. Crocker Harris. He has not yet arrived. Another master, Frank, younger in years than Mr. Crocker Harris, finds Taplo waiting. And it is the last day of the school. Taplo is a student in the lower fifth form. He doesn't know whether he will get his promotion well or not. Frank informs Taplo that there is a rule that says that the results should only be announced by the headmaster on the last day of the school. Taplo says that no one except Mr. Crocker Harris pays attention to it. Frank did not like the way Taplo was praising Crocker Harris and he felt insulted. Frank then asked Taplo what he would like to study if his result is favorable. Taplo shares with him his preference for science. Frank remarks that they get all the slackers in science or the lazy people in science. Tableau disagrees with him and says that he is extremely interested in science. Frank says frankly that he is not interested in the science he is to teach. Tableau on the other hand finds the study of Greek play Agamemnon, Mark, waste a useless thing. His objection is to the way the play is taught to them, the students, just a lot of Greek words strung together and 50 lines if one gets them wrong. Meaning, a play is useless to the students if they don't understand the meaning of it since that play was taught to them in Greek language. Tableau's answers show that he is feeling a bit bitter. Frank is surprised that Tableau has come in to do extra work even on the last day of the school. He was not able to understand that why Taplo had come on the last day. Taplo says that he missed a day last week when he was ill. So he has to put in extra work. The weather is quite fine and he could have played golf. He knows that Mr. Crocker Harris must be quite busy then as he is leaving the school for good the next day. The conversation then shifts to Mr. Crocker Harris. Taplo had asked him the previous day the result of his performance. He was extremely worried whether he would be promoted to the next class or next grade. And he said that he had given Taplo exactly what he deserved. No less and certainly no more. Taplo is afraid that he might have marked him down rather than up for taking extra work. The man is hardly human. Frank encourages Taplo to repeat the remarks of Mr. Crocker Harris. Frank does not find his imitation up to the mark and asks him to read his Aeschylus and be quiet. Frank suggests Taplo that he might cut the class and play golf as Mr. Crocker Harris has not turned up. Tableau is surprised at the suggestion as he can't think of ever doing so. Frank envies Mr. Crocker Harris for the effect he has on the boys in the class. They seem scared to death of him. Tableau says that Croc is not a sadist like other masters. Sadist is a person who finds pleasure in giving pain to others. If he were a sadist, it would show he had some feelings. He is all shriveled up inside like a nut and he seems to hate people to like him. 
so he seems dry like a nut and hates people to like him still teplo likes him teplo then relates an incident when his master crocker harris shared one of his classical jokes in the class nobody laughed as they couldn't understand it teplo laughed as he knew he had meant it as funny he felt sorry for his master for having made such a poor joke teplo laughed to make his teacher mr crocker harris happy but crocker harris did not show any happiness on this instead he told teplo to tell the meaning of the joke to the class teplo was actually caught in a difficult situation as he knew nothing of it so that was the kind of a teacher mr crocker harris was Taplo has actually forgotten the joke but offers to imitate the reaction of Mr Crocker Harris. The laughter of Mr Frank encourages Taplo to do so. Frank seems to enjoy the joke and asks Taplo to imitate Crocker Harris again. In the meanwhile, Millie, the wife of Mr Crocker Harris, enters. Millie Crocker Harris. Frank and Taplo are surprised to see her. Teplo is afraid that she might have overheard their joke. If she told her husband, Teplo's promotion would be in danger. Frank dismisses his fear. Millie tells Teplo that her husband is at the bursars and might be there quite a time. Uh, she says that if she were Teplo, she would go. Teplo became much doubtful. He started getting confused. He says that Mr Crocker Harris had specially asked to come. Milly then suggests him to run away for a quarter of an hour and come back. Teplo is still uncertain and wonders what will happen if Mr Crocker Harris gets there before his arrival. Milly offers to take the blame on her. She then hands him over a prescription and asks him to go to the chemist and get it made up. Thus he can do a job for him. Teplo agrees and leaves the room. You know this is the end of this chapter. I strongly believe that this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with your companions. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.